My name's Alan, and this week we're going to take a quick look at how you can create a mask overlay for your videos. Now, I originally created this video over a year and a half ago, so thank you to the guys on the forum for reminding me and, you know, bringing it back to my attention. So the original video was around 40 minutes long, and in that episode, I started from scratch, so I created the logo inside of Affinity Designer. I then went into Apple Motion to animate it and then into Final Cut. So that's why it took around 40 or so minutes. Don't worry, today's video is only going to be a few minutes long. So I've shortened down the steps and what I'm going to do today is just make a very simplified version of that original tutorial. And I will put a link to that video in the description below. Now PC guys, I am on a Mac. So when we get over to the video editing side, I'm going to be using Final Cut, which is obviously Mac based. So whatever you guys are using, whether it be Vegas, Premiere, um, or another video editing software, do follow along. So to start off with, I'm inside of Affinity Designer. And if I just head up to the file menu, just to show you what's going on here. All I've done is from the page preset, just chosen 1080p and chosen transparent background. And that's it. I'm gonna click cancel because I've already created a document. And inside of Affinity Designer, I've got two layers. I've got my logo and I've created a white rectangle background just by using the rectangle tool. Now it's important to make sure that your logo is all on one layer. Now for example, I've got the S, O and U and L here. They could be on four separate layers. It's important to make sure that they are all on one layer for this to work. And very simple process. I'm just gonna hold down a shift key, select both layers, come up to the toolbar, and I'm going to choose subtract. Uh, what I've told Affinity Designer to do is remove this sole logo from that white background. As simple as that. Next, all I need to do now is head up to the file menu and come down to export and choose PNG. Click export. And in my case, I'm just going to save it out to my desktop. So I've already done that earlier. I'm going to hit cancel. Next, I'm going to head over to Final Cut. So inside the Final Cut, I've got my video done here on my main timeline. I've got some audio and my imported images from Affinity Designer. And inside the Final Cut, all I've done is gone to the file menu, chosen import media and located that image and just dragged it down into my timeline. Now you will notice I've got three of these images imported here. So if I just select the first one, come over to the inspector and I'll show you why. The blending mode is set to normal for the first and the last one. And with the middle one, I've changed the blending mode to overlay. And you'll find that in a minute why when I play this back. So if I just have a quick hover over here, you can see as I'm scrubbing through the timeline, the video is only playing back through the logo and if I go to the end as well now with the middle one where I've changed the blender mode you can still see the logo in the middle but what it's done now it's now playing the video outside of the logo and that's because I've changed the blender mode so if I take this playhead back to the beginning and play this back through and you will see why now this was originally based on the Google Play advert from a couple of years ago so let's play this back and see what it looks like And there you go guys, that's how you can create a mask overlay for your videos inside of Affinity Designer. And then import that into your favorite or your preferred video editing software of your choice. In my case, I've chosen Final Cut. So thanks for watching guys. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. See you soon.